The sky without stars looks empty and lifeless. But you might be surprised to know where do these stars come from and what happens to them in the end. It all begins with a vast cloud of gas and dust and nebula. From this cosmic cradle, stars are born. Gravity pulls the particles closer and closer. Until the cloud ignites in a burst of light, a new star is born. This is the main chapter of a star's life, called the main sequence stage, just like our sun right now. As time passes, its fuel begins to run out. The star swells into a massive red giant, its outer layers expanding far into space. Then comes the final act, the death of a star. Smaller stars fade into white dwarfs, while larger ones explode in a terrifying supernova. After that explosion, some collapse into neutron stars, and others fall into their own gravity, disappearing forever as black holes. But this isn't really the end. The dust and debris from dead stars eventually come together to form new stars, new planets, new life. It's as if death in the universe isn't destruction. It's simply the beginning of something new.